Hello lovelies, as the class of 22, you are now on a one month countdown until GCSE exam starts. Yes, one month today is the start of biology paper one. Um, so this is what you should be doing now. At this point in Eurovision, I want you to be using all of the vision techniques that hopefully you're really practiced in now, hopefully you've been using a lot over the past few months, and apply them really, really well. Now, I don't want you to start doing loads and loads, going really, really late into the evening, staying up um, really late, missing your sleep, because that's not good, that's not healthy for you, that will not do anything, but really sensible use of your time. Now, in theory, hopefully, the majority of the new content will have been taught to you by now but if it isn't if there's anything that your teachers haven't had time to do because of all the disruption we faced, faced over the past couple of years then it's definitely worth skipping ahead maybe a little bit to try and um, get a head start on the content that you haven't been taught yet so that when you get to teach it in class it's not the first time you're coming across it so the lesson is actually a little bit like revision if you're doing revision for topics that you know you have coming up say if you're revising full biology paper one, look at the advanced information, pick one of the topics that we know is going to be major focus of the exam, and then I want you to structure an hour of revision around that topic. Now for the first 20 minutes, just go and do some, like, watch some videos, look at your notes, make some notes, um, look up that section in the textbook, and kind of like refresh your memory about what the content is. And then I want you to go and do some short answer questions about that topic. So looking up some multiple choice questions, which I've got over my website, these are brilliant, brilliant way for you to revise, really low stress, really quick, really easy, and we'll get stuff into your head for you. And then try an exam question, um, doesn't have to be a whole exam, maybe just one or two exam questions on that topic. So what you're doing is you're taking an hour, and you know, this applies to whatever exam you're doing, whatever topic you're revising, this is just good revision technique. But if you're gonna spend an hour revising for a biology paper one, pick one of the topics that's the major focus, spend 20, 15, 20 minutes looking at the video, reminding yourself about the content, 15, 20 minutes doing short recall, quick multiple choice questions, and then 15, 20 minutes doing some longer exam style questions on that to really help you solidify that information in your brain. Um, just sitting there watching a video isn't a great exam technique, isn't a great revision technique. You need to do something with that information afterwards. The advanced information that we got from the exam board is great, it's really useful, but be careful that you're not misinterpreting it and you're not missing stuff out um, that you should be revising. So I did a video on this a couple of days ago because I noticed that loads of people were misinterpreting the advanced information and leaving stuff out that they should be revising. Please make sure you are actually revising the right stuff because I can see it in you know, a month, six weeks time where people are coming out of the exam going, this was on the exam, and the exam board told us it wasn't, when actually what they've done is just misinterpreted the advanced information. So we do need to get quite technical, we do need to get quite geeky about which bits are in the exam, and which bits we know aren't going to be in the exam. It can be really tempting at this time to think that you need to be staying up for hours, doing loads and loads of revision, doing loads and loads of making notes, but actually making sure that your mind and your body are healthy and are in a good place for revision is really, really helpful. So I don't want you staying up all night, I don't want you revising really late um, into the evening. When you're coming home from school, um, on the days when you are at school, maybe pick two subjects to focus an hour on, so like an hour of biology and then an hour of French, and then see how you feel. And then maybe spend a bit more time doing some flashcards or something like that. There are lots of ways you can incorporate vision into your daily life. So there are loads of apps, you know, Quizlet is a very popular one where you can have flashcards on your phone and just sit there on your phone doing your flashcards. 
this is like you don't have to tell anyone you're advising you don't have to show anyone what you're doing on your phone but you're still revising but you're not sitting at your desk doing loads and loads of papers there are loads of ways you can just really easily incorporate this into your daily life now i know lots of you have responsibilities at home lots of you have clubs and things you're doing outside of school this might be the time to start advocating for yourself to start negotiating with people at home and at school to say look actually waiting around for an hour after school so that i can go and pick my little brother or sister or cousins um up from a club that's that's not the best use of my time at the moment can we come to some arrangement can we do something a little bit differently can someone else pick them up so i can go home and revise or if maybe you suggested that instead of doing that you got up a little bit earlier and helped out helped get them ready for school or something then whoever um is giving you the chores at home might be a little bit more accepting to changing things up just for this month we need to not spend all of our time revising but use our time sensibly it can be um exhausting it can be really really hard to go straight into a vision as soon as you come home from school so you don't have to do that i am a big fan of having a nap naps are amazing um so maybe straight after school just go and have like a really quick nap like 20 minutes half an hour before you start doing anything else and this can really really refresh you this can really help you refocus on what you're doing later don't get into bed when you get home from school at like four o'clock and then sleep for three hours until seven o'clock have dinner and then revise for like three hours into night that's just not good that's really really gonna mess with your body clock but just a teeny tiny little nap is always always i think appreciated um so we are really close guys i am paying out as many many videos as i can for you at the moment um trying to get as much stuff up on my website for you um i know that some people are going to be disappointed that i can't do everything for every single exam board but i am just one person i can't make more hours in the day to make me do stuff i promise you i'm working until late in the evening and falling asleep when my eyes start hurting and i know it's exactly what i just told you to not to do um but i promise you i'm working as hard as i can to get as much stuff out there for you as i can good luck guys we can do this ouch this is why in some videos i have unexplained scratches <laughs>